Welcome to DTS Tech Fit. So today we're going to be working on Unit 13 and we're going to be focusing on Assignment 1. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the awesome stuff we have here on this channel for you. On this channel, we're all about learning. The aim we'll be currently working on is understand the uses and features of websites. The objectives you'll be working through are, you'll explain the intended uses and features of two different websites. You'll review how the features in two websites improve presentation, usability, accessibility, and performance. And finally, you'll discuss the strengths and weaknesses of the websites. For your introduction, you might want to add some of your objectives into your introduction just to give the audience a brief description of what you intend on writing in the body of the assignment. Here, I've produced a sample. The sample is only for your guide. So have a read of it, have a look at it, and see what you need to add. Ensure that you have at least three specific points. These are the types of website. You also need to have a brief introduction of what static and dynamic websites are. Yes, and you also just want to give a brief account of what you will be doing in terms of how you'll explain the intended uses and all, they're all listed here. I won't say this, so hopefully you can just have a read. Remember to pause the video whenever you need to, just to ensure that you are able to see what the text or the content is and you can focus on writing up your assignments. So good luck with that. have been asking about how to use the snipping tool. So if you are okay or you know and have the skill of using the snipping tool, then that's okay, skip to the other section of the video. However, if you're unsure, please just watch the video that will come up presently. We're just gonna be learning about our snipping tool.
so if you're not sure how to use the snipping tool you might have it pinned at the bottom of your screen if you don't just click into the search bar here we're gonna click on s or we're gonna type s sorry and then once we type it up we'll get up the snipping tool there when I click on the app on the application for this little session I'm just gonna show you how to snip anything on here for your assignment you can snip you will be using it to snip all of the images that you need to display as examples so we're gonna click on new once we click on new we're just gonna snip anything so for example I'm gonna snip this image here that says echo dot yes we're gonna just run it along the edges of the image to the point which we want to copy it so we can see the image of it so we're creating a copy of the image by snipping it once you have just outlined the area you want to let go of your mouse it will come up here so the only thing you need to do once you've done that is to click on word or to click on the document you want to paste it in and then you're going to right click and paste it that's all you need to do and then you can always adjust the image you can make it tight here as I normally do so you can move it around and move it around your text to display it in a presentable manner so that's just a little simple way that you can snip your images so that they can be presentable for your assignment This is the P1, the first section of P1 you'll be working on. So for this section, you want to write about the intended uses and features of two different websites. For this assignment, we'll be working on using Amazon and BBC News. So as you can see here, Amazon, you can just give a brief account of what Amazon does as a company and then you can just go into a little bit of background information and remember this please don't plagiarize is someone else's work it's just an example so you can see what you need to do and this is just p1 continued This is for BBC News. So remember, whatever you do for one, you need to do for t both. You need to do a description and a background information for both BBC News and also for Amazon, just to give some sort of um, insight into what insight into what the companies do. Then you're going to go into explaining your different features and how they're used. And you need to also have a snip. So this is why you had to learn how to snip. You need to actually have a snipped image of both forms. As you can see, forms here. The person who did this assignment has actually written up the definition of what a form is and also given snipped images. So we will be able to assess what you understand about the particular feature that you're writing about. Here we have hyperlink. So this here i've snipped it there because you can see that's a snipped image of the hyperlinks and that's the definition as well i'm not going to go through all the slides you can always watch it and pause it so that you can see what you need to do for the assignment this is um, different images of hotspots remember what your hotspots are we went through this 
they are images with hidden links. So you need to explain this. You also need to explain how they are used on both Amazon and BBC News. Once you've completed P1, we are now into M1. So this recording, this video only have um, information for P1 and M1, and we will decide we will decide where where to go from here. So let's move on. How we review? We just want to give a brief account of how you would review something. So you want to examine the issue or the topic. Yes, you want to look at the topic from different angles. So whether um, what would happen if this happened and what wouldn't. You need to give a critical evaluation as well. I need to look back. So it's always about looking back at something, look up, looking back at what you have already done, re-examining it, looking at impacts from different angles, look, uh, looking at the what-ifs, looking at the pros and the, the cons. So for example, um, if you're writing about the aesthetics of Amazon, you could say, for for example, a um, a user could click on a hyperlink and it will save them a lot of time because they wouldn't have to be searching all the pages for the specific information they're looking for because once they click on the hyperlink, it will direct them to the content or to the product they are actually looking for so have a think about it and then we're going to start our m1 so for m1 you need to have four sections and they are laid out just here so now you on this section we're talking about the presentation so we have a presentation we have a performance we have our accessibility and or usability Under presentation, we will have our aesthetics. What are aesthetics? Aesthetics are the different features in terms of what you see on the website, how it looks, the layout of the website, the color of the color scheme of the website, the theme of the website. So you want to look at that and you want to see how um, Amazon and BBC has used presentation, yes, has improved their presentation, so to speak, to say, to um, entice customers, yeah, or to engage customers to their content. I am not going to be reading all of it. These are just examples of assignment. Please don't plagiarize. You will also need to be working on your accessibility. Accessibility is on it. Different websites can be difficult to find, but you want to talk about your zoom in feature, your zoom in and zoom out features. You want to talk about your text to speech features. So a lot of websites will have different types of accessibilities and remember guys accessibilities is about allowing all customers regardless of disability or whether they're able to access the content on a particular website so here it's about what the company on a whole or the website has what type of features they have that will assist someone with maybe hearing impairment or someone with a visual impairment to engage in engaging with their content. We also will need, so this is another section of accessibility, have a read of it and go through it. Now we are on to our usability. So usability is how the customer, how do the user engage with the website, how they use it, hyperlinks, your hotspots, all the different features, your search engine, your search, your search bars, sorry, um, 
your action buttons? How do they use it? And is it effective? And what have they improved over the years? You can think about that. We also then have our performance. This is about the speed of the website. Does it load re readily? Is it quick? Is it is it slow? When you load certain image, does it take a while to display this image? So think about all these and have a read of what's here. And as I was as I am and will continue to say, don't plagiarize. Please ensure that you understand and write it in your own words. Good luck. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all of the good learning we have on here. See you in my next video. Bye.